Splatfests are a major event in Splatoon that you definitely won't want to miss. They're a great opportunity to grind some experience, gain some exclusive items and more. Not to mention the fact that they're just a ton of fun, they're really enjoyable to play. You'll typically expect to see a lot of people playing during a Splatfest period. So I thought it'd be a good idea to go over some tips that you should know for the Splatfest in Splatoon 3. Hopefully these will help you out. First of all, let's talk Super Sea Snails, an exclusive currency that you can only get during Splatfests. This is an item that can be used with merch. You can use it to increase the star power of a piece of gear, or you could use it to re-roll the slots of a piece of gear also. Really, one of your main objectives throughout Splatfest would be to grind as many of these as you possibly can, as you're limited in how many of these you'll be able to get throughout the course of the game, and of course, like I mentioned, you can only get them during Splatfest. By increasing your rank as high as you possibly can, you will get more and more of these Super Sea Snails. The highest you can go in Splatoon 3 is Ruler, but like in Salmon Run where you can go Professional Plus One and such, you can do that with Ruler, so keep that in mind. If you happen to be on the lucky winning team, then you'll also be awarded more Super Sea Snails, but generally just getting the highest rank that you possibly can will give you a good shot at getting the most amount of Super Sea Snails. I mentioned this next tip in a previous video, but I feel like I should go over it again here. This is the only time that you can collect conch shells also. This item is exclusively used in the shell out machine in the lobby, and basically it allows you to have free rolls of that machine and get some really cool exclusive items. It of course also gives you a shot at the usual items that you can get by spending cash. You'll only get these once your catalogue levels up, so this would be a really great time to level up that catalogue and collect as many of these as you can. Now one tip that I definitely want to give is do not stockpile these conch shells. There is absolutely no reason to do so. You should use them during the Splatfest period. Ultimately, the amount of conch shells that players have collected will help determine the winner of the Splatfest, but that doesn't mean that you can't use them and you need to save them until the end. Go ahead and use them now as you could find yourself getting things like ability chunks or even food tickets which could really help you out. The next relates to the Splatfest tee which is a great way to grind ability chunks. Merch will scrub this shirt for you for only 2000 in cash so it's a really great idea to wear it throughout the Splatfest, put abilities onto it and then head to merch to scrub it. Now the best way to do this it seems is to get only one ability on it which will cost about 2000 experience to get and then you can head straight to merch, scrub that and continue. You will need a fair amount of cash to do this but provided you're winning some matches and such you should gain cash as you're doing it. You could wait until this piece of gear has free abilities on it but then that's just going to take you absolutely ages. It's much much faster just to scrub it once it's got one ability and continue. You can of course pair this up with a drink ticket which will increase the likelihood of you getting a specific sub ability. Once Splatfest is over you won't be able to do this so keep that in mind. Let me know in the comment section down below what tips you have for Splatfest in Splatoon 3. I'd really love to know. If you made it to the end of the video be sure to comment Splat Gang down below so I know that you did. If you enjoyed be sure to leave a like and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Splatoon 3 content.